I believe it was in 1972, the, the United States Army gave the biathlon mission to the National Guard, and that mission is to uh, produce athletes for competition in world-class and uh, Olympic events. Each state has a National Guard team. That team can consist of anywhere from one person to some states have up to a dozen. And then each of those teams, if we can get some young ones and we kind of develop them. Serial number 216. And then hopefully we can pick off a few of the good ones. And then they compete each year at what's called the uh, National Guard Championships. They're either held in Minnesota or Vermont. The best of that bunch become what are called the All Guard Team. And then the All Guard Team generally represents the National Guard at our national, international, and world class events. A big part of biathlon is the physical fitness. You don't necessarily have to be a skier if you're physically fit. And the other part about biathlon, as you can see, is shooting. If you're a good shooter, you can make up for some of your slower skiing skills. Five, four, three, two, one. We've been very successful at the Olympic trials. Most years we have three, four members of the National Guard are on the uh, United States Olympic biathlon team. I've been doing guard biathlon my entire career in the National Guard. When I made the Olympic team in 98, over 50% of the team was uh, National Guard men and women. Most states that are here have an active biathlon program and their states provide the skis and the rifle and the equipment for them. There's a wide range of experience on the team. Our coach was on the All Guard Biathlon team for about 12 years, and then there are a couple of us who've never actually done a race before. There's a lot of military camaraderie. It's neat to get Army Guard and Air Guard together as well and get to know other people and just kind of learn more about the other folks within your state. Come on, Wyatt, jump it out, jump it out. It's been the best decision I've ever made was to join the National Guard.